your heart and desire. Huh? Whatever you desire. Okay. Nobody, uh, you Okay, it's uh, 2 o'clock. I'm calling the meeting to order. Uh, we have a quorum present, all five directors. Uh, Maria Perkins, secretary. Bill Herman, vice president. Myself, Dan Sullivan, president. Deborah Isaacs, treasurer. John Hope, director. Also present are Andrew Smullen, our comptroller. And uh, Mrs. Rodriguez, our executive secretary also known as Christy and Christina. Thank you. Uh, with that, if we could stand and have a moment of silence, please. All right, we will now do the pledge. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, this, as you all are aware, I'm sure, is a special meeting. There's only uh, one uh, action item, one item we're going to deal with, and that's to consider allocation and authorized expenditure of restricted funds for the purchase of 38 motel doors and car key lock system. Okay. To cl clarify where we're at, in our 10-year repair replacement plan, there was $20,000 allocated for this part of the project. We had the previous board and this board too at one point had agreed that uh, we would prioritize our revenue producing properties uh, in that 10 year plan in the motels. The first one we started out with the plumbing that was in dire straits and uh, as you're aware of that. And now we're moving on to the doors. The outside of the building needs to be secured securely uh, before we move inside, although there's one room already in the process of being remodeled and redone as a uh, sample for the board to examine. The, uh, there was a miscommunication. The, the, in June 20th meeting, the board approved uh, an expenditure of $15,000 uh, for the doors and the locks. And it was thought that was it. Well, it turns out there's been uh, some problems and there was some miscommunication. The 15,000 did not include the locks. Um, these are card key or key card lock system. Plus, there's extensive milling and preparation has to be done with the doors in order to do it. And so I'm trying to make this as brief as possible. So the total came up closer to $23,000. $23,687. Yep, I got it. Actually, I think I came up with $23,712.06, but that includes $600 for delivery of the door, $225 for delivery of the lock systems, and it also includes, to the best of my knowledge, any and all applicable sales tax involved. The uh, original uh, 15,000, I believe, did not include uh, sales tax. So what we're here today to do is to decide whether we're gonna still go forward with this or not. And uh, that gives you the basics. I also would like to quickly uh, comment on the expenditure coming from the restricted fund. It's been brought to my attention that on some of the social media again, that there is a understanding, some people think the restricted fund is for an emergency, some people think that's what it was used for in the past. To update of what I'm sure the majority of you know, is a restricted fund previously was the impound fund and it was used 
for two things, to uh, pay mud taxes when they were assessed on the uh, association and for the development of subdivisions. That was a nice way the developer worked out of having the members pay for him to have more subdivision developments. We do not have the property or the land that we can do any more subdivisions. Can't do them. We're supposed to have 1,600 acres of common ground and we're short of that. So the money just sat there and built up. So at the last revised Declaration of Protected Restrictions, usage of that fund was changed and it was changed to allow for capital improvements and repairs that may come up and be needed along the way. Also, there's a $140,000 or $147,000 of that that's pledged as security for letters of credit at the bank that are required by the state of Te Texas to uh, cover any possible future uh, environmental problem with the landfill station. So that's untouchable, that's pledged. And uh, there's over $400,000 in there. Our plan, the 10-year plan, will draw down on that somewhat, but it will not deplete it. Uh, it's not at least as far as uh, uh, we are doing now and this board is acting would not deplete that fund. You draw it down some, but then it will build up. There's about $47,000 a year gets paid into it as part of your assessments. With that, I'll turn it over to anyone that wants to speak on the issue. Uh, I, I want to, since I've been working on these doors for three months, uh, the doors that I was looking at through uh, Home Depot or Lowe's are uh, a lighter gauge metal uh, with wooden frames and the bottom line was after two months they neither one of them they said we ain't giving you a price we can't do it we cannot bore that lock hole in there. I sent them each one a template of what it's supposed to be, but when it gets outside of the realm of just a doorknob and a dead bolt, they don't want to fool with it because that's a standard door for them. So then I went to a couple other smaller companies that uh, make and sell doors. Uh, never did could get a price to for, do the boring i finally found a company in san antonio that furnishes uh, most of the doors for nearly all the motels that's being built around this area of texas uh, they had the dies to do that particular lock it took him 10 minutes to give me a price on it uh, the doors are heavier metal. They have an insulation inside of them for sound, and the frames are, are metal. They're not wooden frames. So they're top of the line doors. They cost more money than what we originally planned, but the boring of this lock is what the big problem was. I couldn't get anybody that even wanted to touch them. This company just happened to that's what they do. And they have the dies to cut them in there. So, after dealing with two companies in San Antonio, I picked this one. And uh, it is higher than what we normally said, but these are better doors. They're going to last longer. Uh, they should last somewhere around eight to ten years longer than a door that we would buy at uh, Home Depot. Okay. Anybody else have any questions about them doors or that they'd like to ask? Nope. Well, I'm looking at the frames here. You got, you got nine frames at like one size and seven frames at another size and then 11 at one size. Mm -hmm. That's part of the problem. Yeah, but that really didn't check the prices up. You can see that there's very little difference in the frame sizes. Uh, they were just about the same price, uh, maybe $3 difference in 
and the verses, uh, the three old doors versus the in the right and left, because when we first started talking about this, and we uh, understood that they was all right, but they they're not all right. There, I went and looked at them myself, measured them, each one of them, and checked the way that they swing. The way the way you check that door right there is you back up against the hinges, and whichever way it swings, that tells you if it's a right or a left. That door right there is a left. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Why are board members doing this work? Why why isn't this something that was done by our administrative office and why why? Yeah, why? Because I'm a superintendent by trade and I was the only one that knew anything about the doors or how the doors may be mounted or not mounted. So I volunteered to do it. Oh, you volunteered, okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question is, what other hidden costs are we gonna have to come back and talk about later? Excuse me? What other hidden costs are we gonna have to come back and talk about later? What's aggravating me, not necessarily with what you're presenting, what's aggravating me is that we are not given a full picture of whatever these proposals are gonna be. Um, uh, I don't think that's true. I mean, I... I, well, I know it's true, sir, because when... No, it's not true. What happened was there was a miscommunication, so there was a misunderstanding about what this one bid covered right. because it had a term in there that said prep. Okay, so, uh, but prepping a door is nothing in the world except drilling that door and getting it ready to put the lock and everything in. So only, the, there's never been a change in these two bids. It's just that uh, uh, it's been that way since the beginning, uh, but the communications was that somebody thought that that prep mean that they this door manufacturer was going to buy the locks and install them. Okay. And well, that 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 word prep don't mean that. Well, now I'm even more confused because the original thing that was approved was a sixteen thousand dollar purchase, and so you're telling me that neither of these—that's what was in the. I went back and I watched the meeting where it was approved, and that's what was presented. There was nothing that said this is exactly what we're going to okay. buy. So uh, that's why I'm asking. Okay, that was Home Depot doors and locks, and they after three two months. They come back and said, no, we can't do it. After two and one, six months. This, this, so that was my three question. Months. Why is this different? And that's, that's right. Answer, I mean, it was Home Depot versus... They, Home Depot and uh, Lowe's Corporation said, we cannot do it. We can. I sent them both the template for the lock, and they sent it to their door people. Uh, the door people called... Me, I got them in touch with the lock manufacturer. Uh, everybody's well. I'm, they're on vacation this week. It's drug on for two months, and then they finally said, "We can't do it. Okay. We ain't gonna give you a price. Okay. Our price is not any good." So that's the bottom line. I mean, in other words, uh, that's that's what happened on them doors. So then back to my original question, what other hidden costs are we not knowing there about? There's no it? hidden cost on here. Is there installation fees? Who's installing these? Well, the fort's going to install the locks. The, but what about the doors? Who's installing the doors? You, Philip? They're going to install them. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. How is this, these cart readers going to impact the uh, load on the system that is not it has its well. own system it has two machines that we're buying that will program them cards and keep up with it it's not nothing to do with the other computer. well and that's actually included yes in that's our actually estimate. included in okay. the time. included our 200 cards and then plus the uh, necessary equipment to reprogram them that's right but to read, to read how is it going to impact? Is it going to impact the system that we have? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not at all. The system that is no, crashing all the time. No, ma'am. No, it, it won't have any effect on that at all. Okay. You have a question, yeah. John. You said you're 
Thank you. These are going to be pre hung doors already in the frames, right? Yes, sir. Okay, when those old frames come out, you know you've got that crumbling rock all the way around? Yes, sir. I did that one time, one time only, over at the school. Same situation you got, almost identical. I can't imagine it doing that many times because as that old frame came out, it took a big chunk of that old, old rock with it. Sure. There was nothing but hell trying to get that frame back where get the opening back where it would receive a new frame. And it's still not right over there, but I did the best I could. So you said our maintenance department was going to do it. Maybe there's somebody that knows rock work you know, a lot better than I do, which wouldn't surprise well, me. It's a booger to do. I, I know it's a booger. I told them that I would come over and help them get started. Uh, and try to uh, whatever it takes to finish them things out if we have to add uh, uh, cement to the edge of it to mortar it in uh, I'll help them get the first locks new locks put on it's, it's a pretty simple lock uh, once you have the uh, doors uh, board no harder than any other lock it's just is that, You're right about the frame. Yeah, is that expenditure going to affect the uh, any of the building restoration uh, money that's supposed to be set aside for us at twenty-eight thousand? Is it not going to touch it yet? Okay, thank. You. I don't think so. Right. I don't think so. We still have plans to. Uh, there was one room being redone right this minute where everybody can look at it and, and sign off on it. Uh, and then yeah. carry on. Thank you, Joe. Anybody else have any questions? Wanted to say thank you for answering my question. Yes, ma'am. No problem at all. All right, I have the uh, resolution. First of all, for the dollar amount. We have $23,712.06. If we're going to okay that, I would like to see it rounded off at $24,000, an extra $300, up to $24,000 to make it even. And in case that would take care of any hidden upfront expenses to the tune of $300, but no more. If that would be acceptable, then the resolution I've prepared to be uh, voted on and can be discussed further is uh, will be stated as follows. And with any changes that are made here, uh, Christy, I'll, I'll note them and then I'll give you this so you have it. Uh, the Fort Clark Springs Association Inc. Board of Directors by a majority vote hereby authorize the expenditure of, and we put in 24,000 if that's acceptable, to be paid out of the restricted funds, which is for the purchase of 38 steel exterior motel doors and frames, and the purchase and installation of 40 card key systems. There's an additional two card key systems, and those will be hopefully used on the adult center. All right, sir. One, one, one correction. Cool. Oh, yeah. I've already purchased one lot. Okay. I have it in my possession. Well, we're going to authorize it now. But thank you for okay. making full disclosure, Todd. <laughs> All right. I, I mean, I, you know, because okay. all we're going to have to order now is 39. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this authorization supersedes and replaces the previous authorization for the doors and key system passed by the Board of Directors at the June 20, 2018 Board meeting. Are there any comments from anyone on that resolution? Well, I actually have a question. Uh, sitting and processing what I just heard. So what happens if we buy these 38 doors and the key system, and you do one of these doors, and it doesn't work? What, what, what don't work? The door is not compatible to the rocks. The door is not compatible to the frame. The frame is not compatible, period. What are we going to do with those extra 37 doors? You got to be joking me. I'm asking. Like, what... I measured what them three times. No, I'm not talking about the measurements. I'm saying since I'm saying since there was a comment out here about the rock and, and how difficult and challenging that can be to take a wooden frame out with rock and then replace it with stone, 
What happens if the one door that's done doesn't work? They're going to work. I just want to say I've replaced five doors in six years. And Tell up, maybe if you can. I, I, I replaced five doors in there in six years, and they slide out and slide in. I never touched the rock. Never messed up. The but if it does, it's pretty it's simple. simple. I mean, it's not simple. you got to know what you're doing. Right. But you can reseal it. And... Uh, I promise you, them doors are going to go in them holes, okay? <laughs> I measured them myself. In construction, and I have some little experience, but in, in a, oh, there's usually problems will pop up here and there, but there's usually a solution to it. it just has to be figured out. If it was real simple, all of you would be carpenters, but that's what I chose to do. So, but it... it it's not going to be just a cakewalk. There'll be a little problems and hiccups putting them in, but they will go. But my point is, we're not buying 38 doors that we're going to have that to we can't out use. What to do with Certainly them. not. Okay. If we do, I'll buy them back. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> and that is recording. <laughs> Are there any other no, comments? I, I measured them three times. I'm very confident that they are the right doors for the right job. Okay. I sold all the resolution. So you bought 24000 24, Okay, Bill has made a motion of this resolution with an amount of 24000 Is there a second? I second it. It's a second by Mr. John Holt. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by raising your hand, please. Okay, thank you, that's unanimous. So we'll change the word by a majority vote to a unanimous vote, if no, if no one has an objection to that. All right, our uh, business for the special meeting is taken care of. Anyone else have anything they want to say before we adjourn? I make a motion we adjourn. I thank everybody for coming. Yes. Having questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.